Well, once again, Strike Cam has shown us some amazing footage. Yeah, and along the way, we've learned a whole new idea of what's going on underneath, especially these marlin. But probably the most amazing thing was we put the camera in the water on the first day, and the first fish we had up was a sailfish. Yeah, you know, totally outside their normal range, we're a bit shocked at what we saw, but it really highlights the fact of these cameras are showing us what's going on and it's totally different to what we thought. And to see the sailfish coming up and smacking the lure and missing it and missing it, makes you wonder how those guys ever get a feed. And when it finally did get a good grip and pulled it down, you saw that Mick pulled the teaser out of its mouth and almost had a look of disgust that it had missed out on its meal. But you'll notice that it didn't disappear, it went down and dropped over and had a look at the other ones. And that highlights the fact that even though you can't see the fish out the back, they're still most likely there, so treat them as though they're there. Now another really interesting point we had was when we had two stripes up. Strike cam showed us there were two fish there and what that highlights is that in trailer boats once you hook up one fish keep the gear in the water because it may have actually been two fish that were hitting it. We can't see them, we don't have a big tower to look down and see what's going on. So when you hook up keep your gear out for a second or two and just see if there's another fish there. You might turn a single hook up into a double. Probably the most important thing we learned with strike cam while chasing the marlin was how differently billfish attacked baits and lures. Now, as you can see with the live bait, they just simply cruise up from behind, check it out, drop back and eat it. And then, most importantly I think, is the fact that the fish that we've filmed all sit vertically in the water eating the bait. And this highlights the point that you've really got to give that fish a bit of time on your circle hooks. Let them go, let them go, let them go, and then hook them up. And it was quite different when we used skip baits or we were teasing them with hookless lures. Instead of just cruising up from behind, these fish would sit below and come up and smash it. And rather being a casual approach, it was an aggressive attack. And it's quite interesting to see. Maybe they know that the bait, the live bait's there and it's pretty easy to get. So with the live bait, the attack was very casual. But with the other side of it, when they're taking skip baits or attacking lures off the surface, they really had to literally run down their dinner. And what that highlights is the difference of attack. So well, on live baits, the bait will sit behind it. But while you're trolling lures or skip baits, they're sitting below. Now we can't see them a lot of time. So if you get a fish, you see him up there, misses it, and then he's gone. He may be following you for, it could be up to half an hour. You don't know, because to him, it's a bait school. So even though you've lost a fish, probably, or seen a fish, try turning the wheel, because we quite often saw, as you saw on the camera, they'd come screaming up again. If they missed it, they'd drop back down, sit there, and then wait for another opportunity and come back. So just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Now, it wasn't just marlin and sailfish that we filmed during strike zone bill fishing. We also filmed a pretty decent tiger shark. And despite what everyone says about them being aggressive, mindless eaters, this fish was pretty shy, and as you can see, he stayed well back. But it highlights the fact that these are meant to be deep water fish and he's sitting right up there on a surface bait. So it shows when you get the bait up high, there can be just about anything around. Now, while the tiger shark was pretty docile and really didn't show much aggression at all, there was one other fish that showed a hell of a lot of aggression. And that was a mako shark. Now you remember back in strike zone live baiting, the very first one we did, we filmed one in Sydney Harbour and it bit the camera and it was pretty nasty about the whole thing. Well, we've gone one step further for you this time. This time, the shark has actually grabbed the camera and tried to swallow it. And all you can see is looking out through his gills. And it just shows how aggressive these fish are. But what is really interesting is the fact that none of them have eaten the live bait. We filmed three makos now and not one of them has tried to eat the live bait. On the other side, they've all wanted to eat the camera. So, makes you wonder what's going on down there. Well, luckily, Strike Cam survived that shark attack. Now, it did end up with a few scars and a few chips, but it's still operational. But the really good news is, we're building another one. As soon as Ron's off this camera, we're putting him straight onto that workbench and he's building Strike Cam number two. So we're gonna get more action and a whole lot more fun. You could say double the fun. Well, we just haven't doubled up on Strike Cam alone. Everyone's been asking about the shirts and the caps. So originally we thought we'd just do it for the crew, but now we've expanded and we're putting them online for you as well. So we've got the caps and the shirts, which you saw us wear during strike zone bill fishing. 
So check out the website, because we're growing, we're getting bigger and better, so we can help you catch more fish.